Hey everybody, this is Rachel. Welcome to my studio. Um, I thought maybe I'd give a panoramic view really quick to show what my studio looks like because it's so crazy in here. Okay, are you ready? So this is my studio <clears throat> and my camera is really wobbly and this is the painting I'm working on right now. Okay, so let's make sure this is going to stay. Okay, I'm also a medium and I do spirit art. So that's what this channel is about. It's, a, it's about doing spirit art. And I have um, one of my notebooks here to show you some examples of spirit art. This is something I did in a class. This was basically like the energies of the class. And there's a few people in here, like there's a nun and a child, and then there's another face. And then this is a really interesting guide that I picked up too. Like this would be a guide. So what is spirit art? I've done a lot of videos about this, but I'll just go over it really quick before I get started on drawing. The uh, spirit art is basically a form of mediumship in which spirit wants to use communication and art together. So in other words, it's a reading. It's a intuitive drawing reading and then whoever the drawing or reading is for the reading is there or the drawing is theirs so it's yours so if you're on my channel and you see one of my readings and you know it's for you because you understand what it's about and you know the people that are involved in the drawing then reach out because then it's that drawing is yours so I'm gonna do another drawing this morning and the intention of this spirit art drawing is that it's for a future viewer. If you see the video, like I said, and it resonates a lot with you and you think you know who it's for or it's just for you, reach out because then I will send you the scan. Let's get started on this next spirit art drawing. Okay, everybody, I hope you can see this clearly. This is the drawing today. I almost called it a painting. This is the drawing, as you can see. And uh, this one, I believe, is a message that's directly from nature uh, to us as a population. I understand that this could be from for an individual, but at the same time, the message I picked up was very communal. It applies to a lot of people especially people that are really suffering under quarantine right now because I know a lot of people they are not going outside and they're not feeling too good so in a way this is directly for people that are taking quarantine very badly. Nature needs us to remember what spring means. This is what I was getting. Now it took me a while to get to that point, but the first thing I saw was this flower and at the beginning it was very beautiful and then it kind of turned stabby, like a little bit aggressive, like you need to look at me right now. You need to remember what spring means and you also need to not be alarmed by new plants because in a way I want to identify this sort of orchid flower. I'm not a flower expert. I'm not a botanist. I know another lady who is. Her name is Lynn and she is an artist that works specifically in botany and including drawing plants ex ex exactly how they're supposed to be or as they're found in nature. That's not me. I almost wish Lynn was here to like point out what type of plant this is. Anyways, seems like it could be new type of plant or else it's a metaphor for other types of plants, nature needs us to remember what spring means because since people are being trapped inside their houses and feel like they can't leave um, for fear-based reasons, I'm not saying coronavirus is not real, it's, it is a real virus. 
but I believe that fear is a, something that's a lot more dangerous that the majority of the population needs to uh, steer clear of. Nature needs us to go outside and enjoy it or remember what springtime means. So springtime, what does it mean? It means new beginnings, new activities, new plans, rebirth, things that you'll be experiencing with you and your family, new adventures, new ideas. And these are things that everybody needs to have on the top of their mind. This is a time of new beginnings. When we come out of this quarantine situation, we will be a little bit different. We will make different plans. We'll have new agendas that we want to follow through with. New aspirations for new jobs and new positions and new careers and a new appreciation for our family and our friends. And this is another part of nature. Our appreciation for each other is a part of our being and our biology, even though, you know, science sees us as like meat sacks or something. Um, appreciation and love and new beginnings is a part, is actually physically a part of our bodies. And that's why spring needs us to remember what it is to appreciate spring. So in some regions, I understand you really may not be able to go out of your house and I understand that, but um, nature does react to us but in the same way that we react to nature. So what I'm trying to say is that I admire a flower outside or even inside. The flower feels that too. So if I admire this flower, the flower feels it too. It's not a one-way street. It's not just me admiring the flower. The flower is, all, is also thriving off of my appreciation for it. So this is is something we have to remember because we are going to come out of this quarantine situation as more energetically powerful. And so nature needs us for that because nature needs us to also recharge it. I know there is a belief going around that the earth doesn't need people, that the earth would be fine without humans occupying it. That's not true. The earth needs us just as much as we need the earth. And the earth needs us because we are a part of the earth. Humans are not separate. We are part of the Earth's ecosystem. And when we love and appreciate and acknowledge the Earth and acknowledge new growth and the beauty of springtime, the Earth appreciates that and reacts in kind energetically. So we have to keep our bond with the plant kingdom and the nature kingdom and the seasonal the seasonal cycles here we need to keep that bond strong even if we are told to not leave the house nature does need us nature likes it when we walk around on the grass nature likes it when we walk around barefoot in the dirt nature loves these things so do not forget your connection with nature do not forget your, your connection with the cycles. So we have some cycles to, happening down here and the cycles will continue and all the changes that we're going through as a population are gonna be easier if we are remembering that we're linked here, that we're linked to nature. I hope that this was helpful for some people. I know that this issue could seem controversial. It's not controversial to me. If this resonates with you, uh, please let me know if you have any comments or anything. I love your comments and I appreciate them. And I'll be coming out with another spirit art drawing before you know it. Bye, everybody.